If I were to stand here and tell you that the opening of the Shanghai Auto Show tomorrow was going to be a great success and a meaningful event, it would be true. It's going to open to rave reviews. All of them Chinese. Just ask them. I'm Michelle Rahal with The Drive Channel and TheDriveChannel.com. Last episode, we looked at the Rolls-Royce Mini, which debuts at the Shanghai Auto Show tomorrow. On the other hand, I have to be fair to New York and to Shanghai. They opened a day apart. Well, what does that mean? Virtually the same cars are going to be shown, with a few exceptions. Well, what are those exceptions? In New York, the Lexus LFG H formally debuts, which we broke with the only observational video out there. The 2012 Jag XF series, yeah, we broke that on video too. The Shelby 500 GT Super Snake, 800 horsepower. Well, the only way that's going to debut in China is if Carol Shelby charges across the Yalu River, guns a blazing. And the Scion FT86, you have to remember that. It was the Toyota F86 concept at Geneva. We love this car. It's been rebadged as a Scion, which is fine by us as long as they keep all the tuner options open and that Subaru Boxer engine. It still looks like a cool super to me. In Shanghai, virtually the same cars are coming out other than the ones above. Oh, but there's a twist. The Camaro V6 base car has been renamed the Kimelu. I guess that's right. Who cares? What matters is the price. This base model Camaro is going to sell in China for you. Ready for this? $76,000. You can buy that car here in America for twenty-three grand. Am I missing something? I'm no economist. But you can buy a BMW M3 in China for 18 grand more than a base model Camaro. Now, which one would you buy? Does the term currency manipulation come to mind? It should. Shanghai is introducing its Chinese brand lineup for Geely or Geely. You remember them? They're the Rolls Royce knockoff company. Well, they produced an entire lineup, and this particular little car caught my attention the Geely GSCC. It's a little convertible sports car with an eye-popping 127 horsepower engine. That's right, it's going to snap your neck. But does it look like a mini-me version of the Lexus SC430? I think it does. The grill? Well, let's just say that it'll be the new star in the next Transformers movie. All in all, the two shows are cars that we've already seen, but they're making their official debut. We'll see what New York shows on day one, and then we'll bring you that report. Now, to be fair to the Chinese, I think they built some incredible products. Cyber attacks aside, the most incredible product that I've ever seen is probably 80 years old, but they've perfected it. And I've got one with me. I'll show it to you. Here it is. You ready for this? One, two. It's Michael Waltrip. I'm Michelle Rahoff of the Drive Channel and thedrivechannel.com. I'll see you next time.